tide is high and rising. Soon I will drown. Where's the camera? There it is. Hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today is a pleasant Sunday smoke. Whew, it's been a very, very long, very, very busy week. The weekend has been no different. I'm lucky just to get a few minutes to get away and do the Sunday smoke. This is all you're getting this week, babies. Um, I wanted to try to get some reviews done this week, but I've just been so busy that I haven't had a chance. Um, I do have some things coming up, though, which I will talk about briefly. Just been a crazy week, though. Really long hours at work, and then this weekend I've just been running and running and running without a break. I was helping my brother move at one point yesterday, and today <clears throat> I managed to get away. I wanted to try to go to that state park that I've mentioned a couple times, but it's kind of a drive. Well, it's not much of a drive, but there's a big hike at the end of the drive, and... It would basically be a several hour long thing in order to make it actually worthwhile to go there. And I just don't have the time today. So I'm going to get the Sunday smoke done and then I'm running off to my next engagement. So hopefully you don't mind the fact that this is all you're getting this week. I had such a good response from last week's Sunday smoke. I hope you guys aren't expecting me to be, you know, doing a song and dance every single week. Um, but I do appreciate all the comments. It's getting to the point where it's that close to me not being able to keep up with the comments. Um, I'm just getting so many. And YouTube, of course, loves to make it difficult for me. There's this notification system where I supposedly am supposed to get emails with my Stuff and Things Show Gmail account when I get comments on my YouTube videos or if people reply to comments that I've made. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. Even though I don't change my preferences, I have the notifications. I want to get those notifications. I have it all in there in the settings. And then there's also that little bell icon at the upper left of your YouTube account where you're supposed to be able to click that and you, it'll show you the notifications. That has not been happening lately. I don't know why. I'm not getting any notifications there at all. So I'm getting some email notification when someone leaves a comment getting no notifications up in my little, I guess that's supposed to be the Google Plus notifications or something. Gone through every setting I could possibly find. There's no reason why I'm not getting those. I'm just not getting those. So I'm going through very laboriously trying to find every comment that people are leaving to, so I can reply to them. Um, and I think I'm getting most of them. I'm not sure if I haven't responded to your comment. I am sorry. I'm trying. But it's getting to the point now where I'm getting so many comments that, I don't know, we're going to see how it goes. I want to keep, I, I've, I made a promise to myself and to you, the viewer, that I would continue trying to respond to every comment. We'll see how it goes. I'm currently smoking a little bit of Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky in my Peterson Deluxe. Lovely pipe. You guys probably saw the video in which I received this pipe. Clean it up a little bit. Great smoker. Turned out to be a really good pipe. Dark Strong Kentucky? Eh, I'm not really sure yet. I've had this for a couple weeks. I've been kind of smoking it off and on. It was pretty moist, which is why it's still in the tin. Um, I don't know. I, I can't decide what I think of it yet. I have to smoke a few more bowls before I can totally determine what my rating will be. But that's a review that you can look forward to in the next couple weeks probably probably sooner rather than later i also have a tin of dunhill ready rubbed is that showing up on camera it's hard to tell there's too much glare for those of you who don't know this came out just very recently it's the latest dunhill blend to be reissued by the scandinavian tobacco group this again is a virginia based blend that has some flavoring added to it so i'm not sure what i'm going to think about this um, i haven't even cracked this one open yet so we'll see I do like the tin though. It's a handsome tin. Can you see that? Maybe? But we'll see. I wasn't expecting to like um, Three Year Mature Virginia very much and it ended up being not bad. But I kind of feel like all or at least most of the best Dunhill blends have already been reissued. It's kind of like they, they started with the greatest hits and now they're working their way back through the deep album cuts. And uh, I wasn't insanely impressed with Ready Rubbed. 
or with uh, Three Year Mature Virginia, and now I'm not sure what I'm going to think of this Ready Rub, but that review will be coming out pretty soon as well. And then I had another company send me a leather notebook cover to review. Again, it's for a field size, a field note size notebook, and similar to the notebook, I still use my uh, wonderful Popov leather field notes cover. Still love this thing a lot. This is that Chrome XL four wing leather, great notebook, and I guess it's going to be similar, along similar lines, this new notebook cover that I've been given for review. So you can expect that coming up pretty soon. I'm still toying with the idea of maybe doing ink reviews for people who are into fountain pens, but I'm not, I'm not an expert in fountain pens or fountain pen ink, so I'm not sure how I feel about throwing my hat into that ring. Just jab my nose with my pipe stem. And I guess I'm not an expert at pipe smoking either, but I just have a lot more experience with it, so I feel like my my opinions on it might be useful to people out there, but in terms of the fountain pen ink thing, eh, I'm not sure. I do, I do do a lot of research on anything that I'm into, so I guess maybe just me grabbing information <clears throat> from all these sources and maybe me distilling it down, I don't know, maybe it's useful, we'll see. I've also been going shooting a lot lately, and I haven't talked about that much in my videos because I know that, especially internationally, guns aren't always the most popular subject in the world, and even a lot of my domestic viewers aren't huge fans of that, and it's not like I'm particularly worried about people's opinion, but I just don't want to unnecessarily um, turn people off to the channel. That's never kind of, that's never really what I had envisioned the channel being about. But it's just another thing that I enjoy doing. But, you know, I may or may not talk about that in the future. I don't think it's going to... I'm never going to be reviewing guns or probably ever taking you out with me when I go shooting. But if it's something that... If I've been telling you what I've been doing, um, chances are that that might be one of the things that I have been doing lately. Went and fired a couple boxes of uh, 9mm at the rifle range. It was fun. tide is really coming in here. It's normally about 30 feet out and uh, kind of wondering if it's going to actually start licking the soles of my feet here. I wore the worst shoes for coming here today. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just frazzled running around everywhere. But I'm wearing these shoes that are, I don't know, can you see that? Leather soled. Leather soled, fairly expensive boots. And I'm walking on this this jagged concrete that's been thrown in here as a breakwater. No traction whatsoever in my boots. It's, uh, it's a bad recipe. Recipe for disaster. I almost fell on my ass several times. And if the tide comes in any further, I don't know, I might get stuck here. Marooned on this beach. Something kind of fun and interesting that I witnessed the other day. I was out and about, and uh, it's the time of year that the blackberry bushes are starting to ripen. The blackberries on the bushes are starting to ripen, and of course, the, the uh, what are those things that fly that have wings? Birds. Those birds are into the blackberries. And I was out and about. There was a nice patch of blackberries. These things are fucking weed around here. I just swore. They cover the landscape in this area, and they're not the wild blackberry. They're a domestic version of it that got loose and has just taken over everything. They're kind of a, a, a blight upon our fair state. But anyway, late summer, there's lots of blackberries around. And I was around and about a giant swarm of starlings came out or descended upon this blackberry bush and just started gorging themselves on blackberries. And if you know anything about starlings, they're kind of considered a plague around here. They'll infest, like if you have an old barn or something, you could just get hundreds and hundreds of starlings. They crap all over the place. They're really loud, really obnoxious. But this whole swarm of them came, started just gorging themselves on this blackberry bush. And from far away in the sky came this sound. Ah, the sound of a red-tailed hawk, which is a predator of smaller birds. We have lots of red-tailed red hawks around here, along with bald eagles, some golden eagles, lots of birds of prey, osprey, all sorts of good stuff. But red-tailed hawks are fairly common, and when you hear that sound, 
a lot of the smaller animals, rodents, smaller birds, will scatter. They'll freak out and run away because they know a hawk is nearby and the hawk could potentially kill them. So the sound, I hear the sound of a red-tailed hawk, a red-tailed hawk's call. The starlings scatter. They fly to the four winds. And I'm looking around, where's this hawk? Because usually when you hear that sound, you look up and you can see the hawk circling. Couldn't see it anywhere. Hear the call again. And then suddenly, right, like, whistled by my ear, a bird flew by, landed in the blackberry bushes. It was not a red-tailed hawk. It was a Stellar's Jay. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Stellar's Jay is, I'm pretty sure they only live in on the North American continent, maybe somewhat down into Mexico, and only on the west side. So uh, if you're on the east coast, you don't have them. You have blue jays there. They're very similar to blue jays, except they have a taller crest, and it is black, and their face is black. I'll put a picture right here, right there, somewhere in this video. There you go, that's a Stellar's jay. Now they are a bird whose normal call is one of the most irritating bird calls you will ever hear in your entire life. Got an airplane here. It's just this repetitive, harsh shrieking like I can't do it right now. I would have to do it very loudly. Maybe I'll just insert it in right here. That's what a Stellar's Jay normal call sounds like. It's horribly obnoxious. And I think I knew somewhere in the back of my mind that they can imitate other calls. In fact, I think I'd even heard one meowing like a cat before. But they imitate other bird calls. And I think maybe even in the back of my mind I had heard that they can imitate the calls of birds of prey, but I had never actually witnessed it on my own. And I was just flabbergasted by how good it was. It sounded exactly like a red-tailed hawk. And the effect it had on all the stupid starlings was immediate and very beneficial. It was just, it got the entire bush to itself. The blackberry bush was able to feed to its heart, heart's content. And whenever the starlings started coming out again to see if they could feed, it would just do that call. And even though there was no red-tailed hawk nearby, they're just hardwired. If they hear that, they scatter, they run away. It was kind of cool. I didn't get it on video, unfortunately. Yeah, we're getting to the point uh, where I might have to swim to get out of here, so I think I better cut short the Sunday smoke. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to promise anything, but I'm hoping within the next couple weeks to get out to that state park. It's gorgeous, and it's really worth seeing, and it's something I'd really like to show you on camera. So hopefully that can happen. Hopefully things will slow down a little bit. I won't be so busy. But you can look forward to the reviews that I mentioned. I'm, I'm going to try, you know, working other things into this channel expanding its scope a little bit so we'll see some things might work some things might not we'll just have to figure it out as we go along but i want to thank you so much for watching got such a good response to last week's sunday smoke love all the comments love the fact that you keep subscribing and if you're not subscribed to the channel and if you like this video at all make sure you subscribe because you always will get updates as to whether or not or as to when i have uploaded a new video and it's uh just makes everything so much easier. You've got your nice little feed there. You can see when I upload something. So if you like any of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But anyway, before I have to get wet, I'm gonna cut off Sunday Smoke. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a pleasant Sunday Smoke. Good day. Ooh, a jellyfish. Hey, Mr. Jellyfish.